I think it's pretty safe to say that a majority of the Star Wars fans around the world, that when they look at the Skywalker saga, they see Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader as the true face of the Star Wars franchise. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, we do know that J.J. Abrams is basically wrapping up principal photography today for Star Wars Episode 9 as we slowly progress into post-production for Episode 9, which is where they insert all of the the different visual effects, the sound effects, the color correction techniques, and everything, even the music by John Williams, will be inserted during post-production. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. However, what's really interesting about Hayden Christensen slash Anakin Skywalker is this, is that it's described that the visual effects team will be using unused footage of Hayden Christensen from episode 3 revenge of the sith to create jj's take on anakin's force ghost in episode 9. it's described the footage is from the scenes shot where anakin is cloaked and getting ready to kill the separatists on mustafar it said they will be using sequences from that scene for revenge of the sith to create a cloaked anakin figure for episode 9. additionally it's described that this is all preliminary work as negotiations are in place to get hayden back and act in some of the scenes that are scheduled for reshoots in April of this year. So I really want to go over a couple of parts about this that are going to be very excited about this movie. Now we do know that JJ loves the prequels, he loves the originals, and he really wants this movie to cater to all the fans that are really into Star Wars on all different mediums of the franchise, whether you're into books, novels, video games, the prequels, the originals, whatever have you, right? This movie apparently is going to gravitate toward all Star Wars fans. So Hayden Christensen, how they're using footage of the cloaked Anakin figure on Mustafar just before he actually slaughters the Separatists. It's unused footage from Revenge of the Sith that they will be using in Episode 9. Now, mind you, this is all preliminary work as negotiations are in place in order to get Hayden Christensen back for some of the reshoots that are planned for April of this year. Now, a lot of you guys may be concerned as to why episode 9 would even have reshoots planned. Now, do keep in mind that this is always something that happens with a major blockbuster movie, especially like Star Wars or, you know, a lot of things out there that are very similar to, you know, how much budget is actually put into a film like this. So reshoots are pretty much a normal thing, especially when it comes to the major Star Wars sequel trilogy films. So the reshoots taking place this April, most likely it's going to be mid to late April because we do know that Star Wars Celebration is going to be pretty much, you know, in the beginning or beginning of the middle of April of that month. So with that being said, we do know that JJ and crew, they're trying to do amazing things with this movie with the visual effects and a lot of prequel trilogy connections, as well as a lot of cameos in this movie. So the preliminary work right now is using unused footage of Hayden Christensen, like I say from that scene where he's actually cloaked and entering that little control room on Mustafar just before he slaughters the Separatists. However, it's unused and never before seen footage from Revenge of the Sith for a course episode 9. This is all work that's actually being worked on right now for episode 9 as they head into post-production while they actually negotiate to get Hayden Christensen back for episode 9. Now, I'm not quite sure why Hayden Christensen would even refuse to work with JJ to work with the cast and crew for this movie in April. That's the thing here. Would he actually agree? I think he would agree because we have seen interviews before in the past about him actually wanting to come back, how if he was ever offered to come back, he would take it in a heartbeat. He said that before in some various different interviews. And and I got to say that Hayden Christensen, say what, you will, say what you will about the prequels, but I will say that it would be fantastic to get the man back to actually have the real Hayden Christensen, right? In the present, acting on set for episode 9 for some of the reshoots that are scheduled and planned for this April of this year. Now, if they don't, all right, these are negotiations between, of course, Disney, Lucasfilm, Bob Iger, the CEO, uh, everybody a part of this project, etc., on how things would obviously work, whether or not it's a good or a bad decision, or if they should just stick with, of course, the unused footage of Hayden from Revenge of the Sith and use that as a way to incorporate new versions of Anakin Skywalker's Force Ghost. Because in case you guys did not know, 
a lot of the visual effects for the hybrid force ghost are going to be cgi it's not going to need hayden christensen if you guys actually look at the force awakens visual dictionary that was jj abrams original idea that will be reappearing in episode 9 which is entirely cgi it's all cgi based so the other version of Anakin Skywalker's Force Ghost, they are trying to negotiate to get Hayden back as they are doing preliminary work with the visual effects team in order to incorporate some of that Revenge of the Sith unused footage in Episode 9. Honestly, guys, I am very excited for this movie. It really seems like to me it's going to be the Revenge of the Sith of our time. And what I mean by that is that this is going to be the best movie of this current trilogy, just as Revenge of the Sith is the best film of the prequels, at least in my opinion. Opinion, and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there would agree with that statement. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.